Look at this. The, like, that's decent. We yeah, take those. Solid. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, like, no. Which are? Oh, no. I don't, oh, <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> he just brings up his left arm. I don't think Rich has ever seen a wave in his life. Has he ever seen water? I don't. Life? I don't think so. Like he he might have seen a dry creek bed. Nope. No. Nope. He's probably seen a dry creek yeah. bed or a placid lake. <laughs> Even his woe had too many steps to it. <laughs> <laughs> little wink, little wink to the camera, raising the eyebrows. Look at that haircut, man. One part of the uh, the purple team, the bear and the hair. The bear, of course, being Lil Cap, and the hair being Ethan. And wrenched. <laughs> I've seen that picture in Discord many times yeah. from uh, none other than Boomy. Sandstorm feeling good. Not even nervous about this next matchup. This just looks like a friendly between two wildcard players right now. Sandstorm and Wrench getting ready to, to play it out in the grand finals. And as we were saying, Wrench all he has to do, win three, he's good, done for the day, and going home with a big old prize. Whereas. Sandstorm has to win two best of five sets. Now here recently in Mayhem of Ragnarok, despite it being a strange tournament uh, with an interesting outcome, Wrench did come out on top. The w. And he did beat Sandstorm. He did. In that tournament. He did. He, Sandstorm was on Lin Fei. He was point. on Lin Fei. Yeah. But it's just, it's, it's so impressive to look back through Sandstorm's record this year uh, beyond just first places because final round one, no set losses. March of Legends first, no set losses. Spring Champs ones, no set losses. Mountain Dew ones, no set losses. Like, who does that? That's insane. Yeah. That's like, the, the fact that long. he's kept that record up for so long is just unreal. Oh, so this has not been updated. Yeah, this is, this is a slightly, and I mean just very slightly, like less than an hour maybe out yeah. of date, maybe an hour and a half out of date. It is tied up, sets one between these two because of the earlier set and on winner's side of the bracket top eight. That's pretty insane to see that Wrenched is tied with both the number one and number two power ranked players in 1v1s in sets. That's pretty insane. Yep, there are that's nuts. very, very few people who can say that. Boomy's not even tied with Sandstorm nice. in sets. Quite uh, far away, yeah. away from that. Yeah, Sandstorm has won farther. more than double, more than double the sets that Boomy has won. That's in. wild. Going in wild with the salt pick. Yeah. Huh. Uh, it's gonna be an interesting pick. I, the thing that I really like about the Lin Fei, beyond oh, he's got katars, he's got a secondary weapon that he's not gonna just be throwing away constantly, is with Lin Fei, you get more of those string potentials. With Cannon, there's a side light into recovery, or sorry, side air into recovery, that only hits at a very precise range. With Zol, because of his insane strength, you are gonna get that window for such a small yep. period of time. You, you will end up hitting your opponent further than that because of the greater force, and you're just building up damage more quickly. Jeez, though, those double nares, Look at him launching triple him. nares, wrench is getting Blown into the sky. I actually love that down signature. The longer you charge it, the more blasts up to three yes. that you get. I love to do minimum charge time, one blast Comes out quick. right in front of you as a defensive option. That was a clean stock, by the way, oh, people. Yeah. That was a 30 second clean stock against a player who just almost wiped the floor with him. He 3 0 Sandstorm in the winner's semis. And now Sandstorm's here, already got a clean stock over Wrench. Another big trade-off with the Zol, though, is that he's not going to have that dragon to go over corners. He has to stay on the corner or challenge with that dash jump ground pound. I, I'm really hoping he doesn't try to contest Wrench on yeah, the yeah. edge Can't with grab the ground pound, pound because uh, we've, we've learned multiple times that that's not oh. an option. Recovery, yep. He does get the wall touch. And he gets above. Ground pound. And wrenched his gun. Now something Sandstorm in, a, in the lead. What, something that so? Sandstorm will have on the Zul pick over the Lin Fei pick is more defense. Yes. Which might be the reason that he was able to turn that one stock lead into a two stock lead without dying in the process. Sidelight dare. Able to chase with a side air as well. He's got so much damage. There's that four hit putting a wrench closer to the orange. Recovery still that not still enough. That still wasn't enough. Are you are you serious? That's still, still not, not enough. enough. 
Sword Recovery is not a KO option. If I've learned anything from DreamHack Dallas, Sword Recovery is not a KO option. Anymore. I guarantee you, like, Daiku's out there saying Sword is bad. Yes. Blood Diamond's out Every there saying one. Sword is Every bad. Every single one of those recoveries uh, that did not knock out is Daiku screaming that Sword is bad. Now, I wonder if the second one, maybe he didn't get... Maybe he didn't, didn't hit all of it in the dump of the forces on the last one, but I could just be wrong. Like, that could just be Zol defense and not enough damage being built up on that stock yet. Wrench is in kill percent on his final stock. One down six. Yo, all I'm saying is he's using that minimum charge time after I said it, so. He might be listening. I charged uh, $25 an hour for my <laughs> coaching, coaching services. <laughs> Sidelight oh! into the neutral <laughs> Sidelight bear trap! Sidelight bear, bear trap! <laughs> That's so dirty! That's not a true combo! That's so dirty. Sandstorm. That'll probably catch out a spot dodge. That may catch out a jump. Because it does send you up, especially at that high health range. Boom, look how high that sent him. Perfect. Yeah, dodged dodged back in. in. Grabbed him with those just... Nasty looking bear trap team. Get real nasty. <laughs> so nasty. Real nasty boys. <laughs> <laughs> Shout outs to the people here at DreamHack Dallas. Woo! Thank you. Thank Watch you, Bagel, for Crowd you. Mike. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for that voice. Crowd Mike, best Mike. Here we go. Game two. Sandstorm with a convincing win in game one. Down my down air. Oh. Neutralize. Oh, the string. Oh, goes for the neutral stick, trying to bear trap that soft platform. He's still been untouched so far. Oh. Are we going to see another clean there stock? The D-Light Dare into the sidelight is going to deny the clean stock kill. Neutralize. But Rich is an orange. Ground pound. Wrench avoids it, but does not get the punish. He was more effective at punishing ground pound on Katars by far True. than he was with Sword. And also, like, him not punishing a ground pound. Like, I don't want to say that as a negative thing. It's just like, oh, he just didn't turn that one into yeah. a kill. <laughs> That's funny that that seems to be a negative thing is him not him converting not a ground pound into a kill. Killing. That's an amazing Ooh. problem to have. He just ran across the screen with the side signature. Oh, the side air from behind. One more hit, but Wrench able to get above it. Sandstorm's just contesting unarmed. He's just trying to fight Wrench at any possible moment. He has all that unarmed Zoth experience. Oh. Yo, he just got to kill with an axe. And then he throws it away immediately. He gets it for just what he needs. I wonder how much he's worked on his axe since winning the tournament. Well, I would say he's had time playing Azoth, but we all know that's unarmed Azoth. <laughs> <laughs> literally zero time on axe. Double nair, triple nair. Wow. Three nairs in a row from this high strength Zol, putting so much hurt on the wrench. And that's sort of new. We weren't seeing him throw those nair bombs oh. like that when he was playing uh, Zol before. Usually his anti-air was the sidelight. Now he's kind of recognizing he can reach higher oh in the sky gosh. with these nares. So many nares on the wrench. Basically this whole stock was him getting hit by nares. He's about halfway through this stock at this point. Sticking with the guitars. And you see Sandstorm immediately charge in with the unarmed recovery. Not a problem, gonna pick the axe. Very curious to see what he has he's beyond just the, the axe side air that we saw earlier. Has different bear traps. Throwing that grounded trap. That one goes forward. Weapon toss. No, but it landed on the cannon. There's the cannon. And in that time where Sandstorm was stuck on the axe, Wrench was able to build up some decent damage. Yep. Almost evens this up. That is going to be Wrench's opportunity. Every time Sandstorm gets stuck on that axe, Wrench can go in. Oh my gosh. So many guitar noises. All of those hits. And he's taking the lead at this point. Fake out. That weapon toss is going to bounce just a little bit. Picked him up immediately. Tries to chase him into the sky. He has to be careful. Eating a side low. air over there. Even low. an orange, you're dead. This right side island is so close to the knockout box. Punish, but wrench, punish yeah, that one. That'll punish the ground pound. You, you still can't challenge wrench with the ground pounds. You just you can't ground pound wrench. So I haven't seen very much from the axe. Beyond that side air kill that we saw earlier. Waiting, so patient, coming out from Sandstorm, completely counter to what we see on his um, his, his, his cannon, cannon. Yeah. where he's just throwing out attacks left and right. Now we're starting to see him throw out a couple attacks, the side air, does send wrenched off, gravity cancel, side light finishes the stock. He's done that a couple of times now, that's seeming to be a knockout option for him, is when he knows one hit is all he needs, he just goes in with that gravity cancel side light. I wonder why he's choosing that over a side air. Like, there has to be a reason that he's doing that. 
and I'm very curious what it is because yeah, it requires like, him to burn a dodge rather than just the unarmed side air. And it's not like if you went for unarmed neutral light where you go, oh, the active frames. Like, that's that's one of the reasons. Yeah. Unarmed side light comes out quick, and it's not like it has that much more reach than the uh, unarmed side air. Yeah, I'm very curious why he keeps going for that. It's, it's, it's been it's effective. Different. Yeah. So it's, it's not necessarily a bad thing. He hasn't been punished for it at all. It's purely curiosity. Well, Wrench able to even up the stocks here in game two. Oh, ooh. Nice string off the top again. He's evened the damage up completely as well. But Sandstorm does have the cannon. Down light, down air. Setting wrench to the edge. Avoiding that triple blast. Chasing forward with the side signature, but wrenched is above it and behind it. Oh, he's switching. He's actively choosing to switch to the axe here. Dead even between these two. Sandstorm's still up a game. He's going to have to win this best of five and another best of five to come out on top. Like we've seen so many times from him, usually only from the winner's bracket, though. So scary on this corner. There's a soft platform, but Sandstorm goes low towards the main stage. Ooh. Launched that's, off the recovery. That's Zol defense. Yeah. He would have been dead otherwise. Cool. Goes for the Nair. Second attempt. Wrench not damaged enough that a, a Nair would be the knockout, and the recovery does it. Wrench takes game two. We are now even one apiece. Now, it might be startup. Then he goes for the side light. Okay. Side light having eight is compared quick. to uh, Sider's 13. Could be that. So maybe um, he wants the more quick option, the harder to react to, like you might expect an unarmed Sider. You yeah. see him start queuing up that unarmed Sider, start to cast it, and you might be able to react in time to that. But I don't know. That's a genuine question that I have. Three, two, you know go. the answer Game to that three. question out there. You can engage with hashtag BH Esports on Twitter. What? Or just tweet it at me, at who is Sparky. Because I'm the one who cares. Same cannon play coming out from Sandstorm. But Wrenched, he's just figuring it out more and more, getting these longer strings with the guitars, even oh. against Sandstorm's cannon. He has to disengage, does not have the positioning to go for that gravity cancel neutral signature, and knew Wrench was going to get out of it. And we're back on Shipwreck. We've seen a lot of Shipwreck today, and that's going to continue with this game. Very small wall on the edge. I wonder who that will play in the favor of. We might see Sandstorm just not really engage over there unless he's putting himself between wrenched recovery back to the main platform. Like we've seen him do a couple times with the gravity cancel side lights with the falling axe side airs. Covering high and, and low. low yeah. Nice, beautiful arc on that toss. Do the timing just stay right underneath that axe, but wrenched with the knockout down line into the recovery. And a sizable lead at this yeah. point, just barely in orange. That's like four hits from Sandstorm that got him into the orange, and that's all he's been able to get at this point. Stuck on axe nope. in the neutral nope. game. Wow. And with a dare. No. Carried over to the wall, back onto the platform. Wrench is following him. Side him everywhere. Side air, ground pound just for style just at that because. point. Yeah, it's just cause. Maybe he was worried about a dodge through. Like maybe he didn't expect the side air to hit. So he was expecting a dodge and falling down a little bit. Who knows? Or it could have just been for style. Wrench is in winner's bracket, baby. He can do what he wants. Up two stocks, baby. About to win Dallas, baby. I win Dallas, baby. He's in a fantastic position at Three this point. Three stocks to the one of Sandstorm. No ground pound. Nope. Is he gonna? Is he just gonna wait, wait and then wait, do that's it? That's a burn dodge. The neutral light just sends wrench to the other side. Down light in air. Yeah, that will get the stock. And he is gonna prime his next weapon, but I don't even know if he'll have time to get to that one. Nice string nice to start it out. Way. Damage output from Sandstorm. Very high right now. The ground pound on the platform. Oh, that one wasn't, punish. but Wrench knew that it might be coming. He was able to get out of the way of that one. Down light down air. Again, immediately resets. Wants that stage control. Goes far. Nice slap. Oh, but the recovery gets him back to the stage. Different cannon. Just kidding. Back to the original. 
Oh, so close. Again, Zol Nair. defense is not going to be enough for that Nair compared to the recovery. It's 2-1 in Wrenched favor. Wrenched is one game away from beating out the number one PR player, the current world champion in 1v1s, and winning DreamHack Dallas. He beat him 3-0 in winner semis. Is he about to beat him 3-1 in the grand final? That would be huge. That would be so huge for Wrench. Not even just, like, all of these things are just, like, fueling the fire of how big of a win this would be. Knocking out Boomy, knocking out Sandstorm, winning Dallas, when he hasn't been placing Wu very well this year. Shang. Coming in with the reign of Wushong. Wushong. Huh. Huh. This feels like a interesting pick. It will have the gauntlet carryover from the Mordex, but it honestly, it feels like he's just seeing what's going to stick, and he doesn't have the games to do that. He is one game away from being knocked out and Wrench going home the champion of DreamHack Dallas. But something that Taza mentioned earlier was with all the Qatar play today, it seemed like people might be picking Spear as a counter to Qatar. So he's going to have that as a counter to Wrench Qatar. He's going to have the gauntlets that he's already very familiar with from Mordex. He's picking a character with a strong signature kit. And he played this at Mayhem of Ragnarok. Amongst like the Ooh. nine other characters yeah. that he played. Oh, that's wow. a suck! That's it! Same lead, exact same lead that we saw last game. Wrenched is looking so good, poised to be the victor here in 1v1s of DreamHack Dallas. Dallas looking good on Wrenched, Shipwreck looking good on Wrenched, Land looking good on Wrenched. We said it at the start of yesterday, Wrenched levels up in offline environments. And this is clearly Wrenched leveling up. He won Mayhem of Ragnarok, and people discounted it. If he wins here, no one will be able to discount this one. This would be such a big win for Wrench, but Sandstorm, not going to let him go easy at all. No. 60 to 70 damage on that stock, but he can take that back. You saw the opening string that Sandstorm started with. He can even up the damage very quickly. He's looking for it right now. Almost gets the grab against a D-Light to continue that damage. Still damage lead in Wrench's favor. Punish. Side signature goes over the corner. There's the weapon toss. That Boom. stock is gone. Sandstorm lead. Minor lead. These gauntlets. He can widen the gap here with these gauntlets. He has so many big gauntlet strings. There you're seeing oh my it. Gosh. Oh my goodness. I know Daiku has to be cringing in the audience. He hates gauntlets. Open side air. Who goes low? There's a punish. I was expecting that a bigger one. There's the down air. He was, yeah. I think he was waiting. He was yeah. waiting to get back to the main platform, seeing how Sandstorm was going to recover, rather than going full steam ahead, just a little bit behind at this point. That 60 to 70 damage lead has turned into maybe a 40 to 50 at this point. No weapon spawns either. It's over there. It's the spear. I would say maybe not his weapon of choice here. Definitely not the, the weapon that he's built up the most damage with so far in this game. I mean, he did pick the Mirage in the winner's semis against Wrench. That's true. So I forgot he, I forgot he played the Mirage. So he must have some spear play, and he gets to the downlight side air. Over to the gauntlets, though. This seems to be his main weapon Whoa. of choice. Into the recovery. Sandstorm evens it up 2-2. Two, two. The Shang pick working. You're hearing him locking it in again. Sticking with it. We're going to game five in the first set of grand finals. One win for Wrench, and he takes Dallas. One win for Sandstorm, and Twitter's he resets the energy. bracket. Twitter's giving him the energy. The audience here is giving Wrench the energy. I know Twitch chat's giving him the energy. They want to see know. Wrench. I think Sandstorm might be giving oh, might. Sandstorm the energy because they can do, like, un unclog the polywog. Un oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, uh, the little frog Twitch chat. Yeah, the, uh, the frog emote. Well, would they do that, and then would they do the doo doo doo? I don't see many people doing that. Really? They used to do it a lot. I feel like they don't do it as much anymore. Game five, grand final, Sandstorm versus Wrenched. But I, I bet there's a lot of unclogged the polywog in there. I don't remember all the rest of the ones. Oh, that's side air. Oh. Side air. Oh! Soft platform. Yeah. He's so up. close. That soft platform hooking up Sandstorm. Is it still? He's oh! not going to have it this time. He's done. He's done. Almost a clean stock. Almost a clean stock. Wrench offstage is so good. The soft platform was there saying, all right, I got you, homie. False but then, hope, man. But then really the second time, come on, two? Come on. I gave you right last I week. I gave you one. You get an Uber this week. 
Here's that Sandstorm Gauntlet String again onto Wrench. Getting some decent damage, but still a full stock behind here. Wrenched over on the wall. Sandstorm not engaging. Back to back D lights. Tries to get the third one, Wilson style. Went for the double side light, but Wrench was beneath it. Wrench still in the orange, tied up the damage, and is still a full stock ahead. That might. Neutral! Oh! Popular option for Wu Shang players. Does work well for the knockout. But still, damage deficit. He closed the gap just a little bit. Yeah, he needs to stay on to this main stage. Has more room for those bounces, which are helping his strings, and it's farther from those knockout boxes on the sides. Uh oh, throws away the gauntlets, though. There's the spear. Handstorm back to the middle of the platform. Both of them in the middle. Side light, D light. Goes Sarah, for the side Sarah. air and a second side air. Ooh, misses the pogo. Another Sair. Oh, tries to pogo off of it. Wrench has to be careful. Gets he doesn't the want the bracket seat. reset. He does not. That's like one of the Nobody worst things. The That's the reset. worst feeling when Especially you're right game there. Five. And you can when you were all one game taste away. it. And he was in the lead. And he started out this game so strong. Wrench has to be That's careful. Punishable. He's finding so much trouble dealing with these gauntlets from Sandstorm. Back to center stage. Side signature oh. over the corner. Weapon toss. There's the dodge and the side light again from Sandstorm to finish the stock. That is such a consistent finisher for him. He burns everything, makes them use their dodge with the weapon toss. And when they have no utility left, get him with the kick. Sandstorm just barely ahead at this point. Wrench just struggled to find any kill moves. The onstage cider isn't going to be it. And Sandstorm really isn't engaging too much on the edge unless Wrench is in the worst position as he's recovering. He's not engaging in the just standard offstage play when Wrench wants to sit on the wall. Has the sword, might be looking for a D-Light recovery. Or just the raw recovery, the raw recovery by itself. He's gonna finish it off. Likely will be sticking with the Katars. Yeah, it doesn't even touch that other sword. Gonna go for the weapon denial. Knows how desperately Sandstorm needs a weapon. Oh no, he just oh, disarmed, yeah, he disarmed himself. himself. Was able to swipe those before they even touched the main platform. Dead even between these two, about three and a half minutes into this game. Game nice five string. situation. Dreamhack Dallas on the line for Wrenched at this point. Switching it up over to the spear play. See the chain dodge come down out. Light, D -light, D -light, side air. It's so even in damage. So close. I worry about side six. Oh. I worry about the kill potential for Wrenched. Down oh, that's, it. that's a reset! Sandstorm. What a clutch moment. Resetting there in a game five situation. The Wu Shang pick coming in so clutch for him. Look at this and huge opening. And it seemed like it was going to be a gauntlet play. It seemed like that was going to be the big focus. And it was for game four. It worked really well for him. But then game five was predominantly spear play. He'd get this burst with his gauntlets and then immediately switch to the spear. You can see these finishers all about the spear in the gravity cancel neutral signature. This time, uh, that's the down signature. But he had the spear for the damage buildup, then finished it off with that. Big bummer for Wrench at that Whoa. point. He had it in his hands. This is still close, of though. Victory. That yeah, went to last stocks of game five. Here comes the best man giving some advice. Nobody in for uh... Oh, there's Boom. Nope, oh, boom. that's Midget. Nope. Yeah, OK. Honestly, kind of looks like Sandstorm was just showing him a meme. He <laughs> <laughs> might be showing the <laughs> turtle picture. The turtle picture. <laughs> Shang pick has got to be coming back. Yeah, got to be sticking away. with it. But Wrenched is so good at adapting. He's so good at figuring things out and slowly just picking apart whatever that you're doing. I don't know how long this Wu Shang is going to work. Is it going to go the distance? Is it going to go another potential five games? Man, that's a lot of games. And that's already when Sandstorm dipped down into the loser's yeah. bracket. Reasonably early, definitely early for him. Yeah, 
right, here we go. Game one after the reset. Sticking with the character that got him to the reset, Sandstorm on the Rana Wushan, wrenched on the Asuri. Has he played Lin Fei against wrench yet at all? He uh, started with the yeah, Soul, Yeah, he started right? with the Soul. No, he has not. He played it last time with Mayhem and Ragnarok. Did not play it here in, in Dallas. Interesting. Didn't play the Lin Fei against Wrench at all. Didn't want the Katar Mirror match, maybe. Went straight for the, the very different pick rather than the more similar pick of Lin Fei after Zol. Or starting with the Lin Fei, then maybe it's Zol. That side air. Another one could be the killer. Doesn't even need it. Sandstorm going to fall. I would like to see some more focus on Sword. Now, I don't know if he just happened to be in that part of the juggle when Sandstorm was getting near him and he didn't want to be disarmed. Yeah. But I, I want to see a little bit more wrench sword because it was looking fantastic yesterday. And I think that's going to give him a little bit of a Good. range increase. Especially over the gauntlets. And it'll give him better range to contest the spear. The down signature just barely finishes it off. I'm honestly kind of surprised. It didn't look like it was going to be enough to, to finish off wrench. On the corner. Sandstorm not even going to try to pogo. Just waiting for Wrench to come up. He knows what happens when you can test Wrench off stage. He knows. He knows firsthand. Yeah. Wrench with quite a lead at this point. Sandstorm in kill percent. He's maintaining this lead. Sandstorm's going back to the gauntlets here. Gonna, gonna try to get that string that gets that burst of damage before he goes back to the spear for the finish. We're gonna get see. Oh no, not a big string oh, yeah. come out from Sandstorm. Just two hits. I, I was not expecting the Sair off the Nair. Usually when he gets that kind of bounce into the stage, he goes for that recovery and then tries to follow up with another Nair, but it looked like Wrench was adjusting to that and getting out of that second Nair. Two side airs though. Third one. Oh, misses the Nair. Everyone's safe back on stage. Where's the toss? Oh, doesn't hit the sidelight. Didn't get high enough to go straight into that dare. D-Light recovery, though, coming out from Wrenched. He's going to keep the lead smaller at this point. There's the spear play. Down light, side air. Wrenched is going high. Ooh, he beat out the down light. This is good damage. This yeah, is this fantastic is damage. damage. Wrench spot dodges the Sandstorm. Expected him to jump going for these downlight approaches. The ground pound connects. This is close. This is just game one. And it seems like Sandstorm decided to go for that ground pound. You saw him throw out two downlights, and they didn't hit. Likely going for maybe a neutral signature after, uh, maybe a side signature after, but maybe a cider after as well, but they weren't hitting. So he decided to go for the jump ground pound as his lateral kill move. Because Wrench was just staying on the ground. Wrench, though, maintaining this health advantage over Sandstorm, however minor it may be, it is enough then. When it gets to those final blows, Wrench will be there a little bit earlier and potentially could get the stock before Sandstorm. Sandstorm has him on the side, but again, goes for these downlight approaches on this corner, and Wrench just stays grounded. Delight recovery. One more. Enough. One more. Probably two more nairs. But one more delight recovery. Downlight recovery, and there that'll it do it. Wrench takes game one. Close. More coaching. Coming up real quick. He's like, you could have won that better. It's, it seems like Starlight knew exactly what he wanted to say. There wasn't any deliberation between nope. the two. He was like, hey, hey, hey. He's like, I hey, noticed I've this. this thing. ABC, one, two, three. Hopefully he didn't say that. Man, I hope he didn't. <laughs> be real bad coaching. Or maybe they're just playing the mental game <laughs> and just really trying to sell it. Got to make Sandstorm think that uh, Wrench is learning everything. just every whispered some uh, Minecraft parody lyrics <laughs> in the game. <laughs> Trying to really mess with Sandstorm. I mean, to be Switch. honest, that would definitely help me. If Switch you're coaching me. to the Mordex. This is the OG, the Mordex from Sandstorm. Interesting choice here, because his, his spear was looking yeah, pretty fine. solid. And Wrench already beat this. Oh! oh. Didn't get the force instead, kind of ate that wall and just fizzled out. That's going to help Sandstorm live a little longer. A lot of those like long extended active frame signatures will drop along the wall, like especially core down signature. I still get mad at TWK that that drops. 
Ooh, but the down signature this time sends Sandstorm flying aimed it in the right direction, not into a wall. Downlight recovery will knock out and wrenched. Big lead. He's in the lead. Sticking with the guitars. No weapon spawn for Sandstorm. There it is, Gauntlets. Playing kind of cautious. Not really sticking to the middle of the stage as much. He was overstuck on that soft platform, wanted to put space between him and Wrenched so that he could use his dash initiation. Wrench is just wow. right on top wow. of him. Even up the damage so quickly. Even, but with a stock advantage. Oh Falling there. Wrench just widening the gap, dodges the dunk, but the recovery is not enough. Another recovery, he got the wall touch. And Sandstorm's gonna disengage. Yeah. Doesn't want to challenge it. Didn't want to try and press that any further. Because Wrench is insane in the offstage. The side air will do it but still huge damage deficit. And what's what's unfortunate for Sandstorm is he's playing this character, Mordex. Gauntlets and Scythe, great offstage weapons, but you're playing against Wrench, who's got some of the most insane offstage play ability. Yep. Like, he's just so good at offstage. But you still have strong onstage signature kit True. that you can use to kill. So it's not like you have to 100% rely on those offstage or by building up a million damage. Wrench picks up the kill there with the down signature. All of those active frames as she's sort of breakdancing and swinging that sword around. Man, looks like Wrench is going to be sticking to the sword this time. Dunk over? Right over the corner. Exactly finish where it. you want to place finish that. It. Oh, wrenched! He's he's adapting to the gravity cancel side light. He's literally playing so well around it, expecting these to come out from Sandstorm. That time he was below it, but the time before that, he was above it. Just the adjustments from wrenched. And that hit every single time before. Yeah. Every single time Sandstorm went for that, his opponent fell prey to it. Whether it was wrenched or other people, Sandstorm was 100% on that. Not anymore. Does find the GC D-Light into the ground pound as Wrench was returning back to the wall. Smaller, a little bit smaller lead at this point for Wrench, but still a lead that he's held on to consistently so far this game. He looks similar lead to what he had in game one. He was able to win out over Sandstorm. Now we're here in game two and he has that same exact lead. And the scythe strings that we saw Sandstorm build his career off of not are not up. happening here against Wrenched. Offstage goes for the recovery. Wrench from below punishes with a recovery of his own. Going up 2-0 in this best of five would be a tremendous spot for Wrench to be in. That's a, a spot touch. After losing the first set in grand finals, 2-0 would really, really boost up that confidence. Light into recovery, not enough damage for Sandstorm. Ooh. Side heavy, still not quite enough. Goes for the Nair, just wants to keep him from touching back down. Wrench wants Side the kill. Oh my gosh, that killed! Just far enough, just enough damage, just enough for Sandstorm to take game two and go to game three, back and forth. This is so close. This is just like the first set, game three. It was tied. 1-1 one, one between Wrenched and Sandstorm. And Wrenched was doing such a good job. I think Wrenched, or I think Sandstorm only threw out one other side signature. Yeah, maybe maybe a couple other, but lot. they didn't hit. And Wrench was able to get around them and punish them. But that one, I didn't see that one coming. Did not, no. I was expecting to dash forward. Maybe play a little bit more neutral, try to get more damage before going for that signature. Clearly, Wrench was thinking similarly, as he was not expecting that side signature. Sandstorm threw it out, got the hit, and now we're going to game three onto Twilight Grove. This is a map that Sandstorm loves because of that right side wall, where he gets to do insane things like reverse nares into that wall and just keep those bounces going. Give him a swirly. Side light, D-light, nair. Opening three piece from Wrenched. We still didn't see Sandstorm really get the strings nope. that we've come to know from him. He had like the Sayers and Nairs at one point, but other than that, no big Sandstorm side strings. Full disengage. Cannot challenge Wrench in the offstage. Again, another three piece for Wrench. They're going pretty much dead even in damage at this point. Maybe a slight lead for Wrench, but here comes the gauntlet string. Ooh, tries to finish it with the Sig.
Now it's Wrench's turn. They're just kind of jockeying back and forth. Like, okay, you're going to hit me three times. I'm going to hit you three times. You're going to hit me four times. I'm going to hit you four times. The slap down from Wrench. Shoved Sandstorm away. Ooh, oh. able to get the recovery. Wrench, where is he going? Gets the wall touch. Oh, and Sandstorm doesn't deny the weapon. Instead, goes for the unarmed recovery, and Wrench has the weapon advantage. Trying to cover that weapon spawn. He knows that Sandstorm's not going to end up going for that. Oh, oh, dash in down heavy. We saw him use the down signature on sword, sort of a break dance. That's a break dance as well. All of those active frames covering right and left. It's kind of hedging your bets on both sides where your opponent's going to be. Wrenched. He's in that knockout percent, but yeah. You gotta find the setup for it. You have to get the read. Sidelight does not go straight into it. Throws straight up with the down signature. That's got active input. So we can throw it over the corner. We saw it dunk earlier, but this time he throws it straight up. Side signature. Seeing more signatures come out off stage. He's gonna get the chase dodge off of that. Actually, I guess he, tur he turned back towards Sandstorm. So he lost the chase dodge on hit after the recovery. It was just a regular dodge, but he was able to get back to the wall. Sandstorm actually ahead just a little bit at this point. Just barely. His gravity cancel side signature that hit wrenched in white was super weird. Right, here comes the guitar strings from wrenched. It's been a little while since he's been able to get those three, four pieces. Sandstorm was getting that huge damage advantage. Kicks him off. There's the finish. There's the ground pound. Ooh. Wrenched is gone. That's maybe one of the first few successful yeah. ground pounds on Wrench, yeah. probably in this entire tournament. Not even just successful, but that didn't lead <laughs> to a kill or at least punishment coming from Wrench. Sandstorm with a solid lead at this point. Who goes for the dodge through into that uh, turnaround there, but Wrench was ready for it with the wake up. Neutral Light sending Sandstorm to the left. Wrench chasing him over onto the edge. Sandstorm disengaging, goes back for his dash jump, pivot ground pounds that we've come to see from him. Classic So many start. times in the past. Sidelight just waits, kind of jumps up, fast falls down, goes back up, recovery. two recoveries. Wrench has ground to find pound. a kill option. He has to find it now. That right side wall, if he had to stick, to, if there wasn't that right side island, he would have to contest all of those ground pounds from Sandstorm. But still, huge lead for Sandstorm. Two stocks to the one of wrenched and almost a full stock lead in health. Throws up. Oh, Start expected a days. jump after that. Either a jump or a dodge up out of that down signature. Oh, wrenched. Yeah, He's got to be so careful. Oh, the neutral heavy. That's two unarmed knockouts for Wrenched here in game three. The only problem with that is that's required him to put out a the amount of damage. of damage that it takes to knock someone out unarmed. Wrenched and kill percent. This is going to be tough if Wrenched wants to try to win this game three. Sandstorm winning this is going to put him up 2-1 in this best of five set. He'll be one victory away from being this just dominant in force there. in Brawlhalla singles that nobody seems to know how to take down. In there! That's not enough! Yeah, that's a punish. That's a punish right there. He's not forced off stage, though. It's going to be the side air from the middle of the stage. Sandstorm takes the game. He's up 2-1. One game left for Wildcard Sandstorm to beat his Wildcard brother and go home the victor of DreamHack Dallas. Are we getting any help from Starlight? I'm assuming we're not getting any help from Starlight. We oh, are getting help okay, from Starlight. Yes. <laughs> the best man is here. Oh, paper fair. Oh. Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! You can't have that many coaches! Heck yeah, paper fair. You tell him. Yeah. Head to you. Dang, he was on that. I know, right? Oh my god, I'm scared. Hit him with the body block and everything. I'm back here and I'm scared. Woo! Remind me to never make paper very mad. <laughs>
What a replay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Stoic as always. Just raw footage, baby. Here we go. Game four, Sandstorm versus Wrenched in the grand finals after the reset. Can Wrench take it to game five? Sandstorm with the gauntlet string. This is Sandstorm returning to form. This is the Sandstorm that we expected in the winner's semi. And we were talking about when we were watching earlier. Don't, oh, whoa! If Sandstorm makes it to grand finals, it almost looked like he ah! cracked the wall to not die for yeah. that. But we were saying that if it's Wrench Sandstorm in the grand finals and Sandstorm gets the reset, I didn't think Wrench was going to win. Nope. And it's looking like Great that positioning, might be yeah. the case. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Yep. He couldn't touch. He needed that. Immediately he back needed in. That. We're, We're even. Reset it. We're just going to just gonna wash our hands of what happened in the beginning of the game and pretend that it didn't happen. You uh, shook that. <laughs> what the heck is it called? Etch a sketch. Etch a sketch. Etch a yeah. sketch. And that's completely clean. Nair tries to get that follow-up down here. But it just doesn't seem like Wrench has been able to outplay any weapon for that Sandstorm has with any weapon of his own. So it's not even like he just needs to look for a certain matchup, like, oh, Sandstorm has gauntlets, fine sword. Sandstorm has scythe, fine guitars. Seems like Sandstorm's just been one or two steps ahead at all points after this Mordex switch, except for the one victory game that Wrench has. Sandstorm, he took a while to get to this point, though. He played through a whole roster of characters trying to find what was working, and then ultimately landed back on the Mordex, and he's looking so strong. I guess there was kind of this growing period, this development period, where he had to practice all these other things before he can go back to the Mordex and look like the Sandstorm that we all know as the world champion in 1v1s. On the edge. Ooh, tries to go on me ground pound. He goes back in. Also something that Wrench has struggled to find is kill options. He hasn't found the D-Light recoveries as successfully as he was finding nope. earlier. He's not finding signature follow-ups like he was able to find earlier. And if Sandstorm chooses to just Finish. not really play off stage, then those aren't kill options either. Well, he does find the kill there, sends him over to the left side and just denies him that touch with that side air. But still, Wrench is pretty damaged. Sandstorm could get this. If he has a kill option of his own, but see, nice gap winding with a couple of nares. Punish. There's a D light recovery punish. Fantastic spacing coming out from Wrenched. Expecting a secondary signature, but there's the gauntlet recovery. He's picked up so many kills with gauntlet recovery. Either just raw or after a side light mix up, or even sometimes after the down light. Wrenched with a little bit of a lead. He has to win this game to tie it up and take it to a game five situation. Imagine if oh, Rich there? took Sandstorm to ah! game 10. Ah! Oh, no! Sandstorm has oh, no! No! Game four! Sandstorm just deleted the stock. He's the Dream Hack Dallas oh. champion. No if, ands, or buts about it. Sandstorm, when he was in kill percent, takes the tournament in a heartbreaking loss for Wrench. This dominant force <laughs> in Brawlhalla singles. This this unstoppable train. I just, I, I can't believe that Sandstorm was able to do that. He took wrenched off.